Wahoo! It's me, Mexican Super Mario. What would Mexican Super Mario say? He'd say something like, Chunpa mi verga! But what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna make you guys chicken McNuggets. So, um, first we're gonna need to go to the store and get the ingredients to make chicken McNuggets. So come with me on an adventure to Ralph's. Cause at Ralph's you're number one, and you come first. It's your boy, Frank Jeff C, and we at the Ralph's. You know what these are called? I'm gonna get some of uh, Daddy's secret songs. You know I can't go without my uh, my favorite drink. Next you're gonna need some blended up chicken. You can't go wrong with Inserno's premium ground chicken. Fails you this doctor can fix it. I didn't even get that. Are you serious? Yeah. And now to make it extra crispy, we're gonna get some sparkling arrowhead water because some fat Australian guy told me to do it, so I'm doing it. Look at this cat, it's eating plastic. You think you could just walk around this table acting like you own the place or something? You bit my toe today and it hurt. Hey, we're back. So now that we're back from the store, put your sparkling water in the fridge because we're gonna use this later. And then um, what we got is uh, garlic powder and onion powder, some cornstarch, and some all-purpose flour for the breading of the chicken. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna get your, your ground chicken and we're just gonna open this shit up. Okay, so now that we have our, our pulverized chicken, we drop it out like that. And uh, since you know all women are queens, we're gonna make the chicken nuggets in the shape of little crowns. So now that we have our grounded up chicken, let's put the little crowns in there so that we could turn these. This is not gonna work. I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> let's just put them into little balls for now. So I guess I wanna make a boot though. Like those are my favorite type of nuggets are the boots. Shut up! So I kind of shaped them into crowns because I found out blended up chicken um, dead flesh is actually really hard to shape. So instead we just turned it into like little balls. So what we're gonna do is freeze them so that their uh, texture is a little bit hard. So what you do is you just put them right here in the Kenmore and then you close it. And then you, you wait. Um, is it a Kenmore? It's a Samsung? You have a Samsung fridge? Next, what you're gonna wanna do is heat up some oil so that you could cook your nuggets in them. So simply put some olive oil. All right, if you like to be a little bit kinky, you could use some grapeseed oil. All right, so now it's time to make the batter. So what you're gonna wanna do is get uh, two cups of all-purpose enriched flour. So let's just open this shit up. One cup, two cups. And next what you're gonna need is a tablespoon of cornstarch, which uh, as we all know is made out of the corn. So one tablespoon of this, of this sweet white powder. Okay, now we're gonna need a tablespoon, a no, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon of garlic powder. Get it nice and garlicky. You get a look at that shot. Oh damn, that shot is so dank as uh, they would say in the middle school now. When, when I was in middle school, they used to say tight. They were like, oh, that's tight. You know what else is tight? Um, my appreciation and respect towards women. Okay, so now we add the uh, garlic salt. Um, is this garlic salt? No, it's garlic powder. And then this was garlic salt. Wait, we have two garlic? Oh, onion and garlic. I'm done. Next, we gotta get our sparkling water. This is what makes it crispy. Oh shit! Did you see that? It almost exploded. It's a good thing I use my cat-like reflexes to make sure that it's- <laughs> Okay, um, now we have one cup of sparkling water. Fuck, that sounds beautiful. One cup. Oh, look at that shit. 
And one huevo. That means egg in fucking whatever language that it is in. Aw, yeah. And now, we mix it up together like so. I'm a natural pro at doing this. Is it too thick? No. It's not thick enough. If you know what I mean. I'm a beat up your mom. Ooh, I'm a beat up your dad. Ah, oh, my penis is so big. I can't keep it in my pants. So next what you're gonna want to do is get your kind of semi-frozen thick nugget and dip it in the concoction like so. See, it's in there swimming by itself, but don't worry, it's gonna be there with all its little friends soon. And then just kind of like, I don't know, this is thick as fuck, holy shit. Not gonna lie, we fucked up. We fucked up really bad. We made them too big. But you know, cooking in is all about the journey, not how good the food is. Because eventually one day, um, we're all just gonna die. And the more you deep fry, the faster it gets. So remember kids, always smoke cigarettes. Uh. All right, so we fucked up on the first round, but we learned. Cause I wanted the chicken nuggets to be thick as fuck. Cause you know, I like it big. But like, what we did was we made them smaller and made the, the sauce a little bit, not the sauce, what's it called? The batter, a little bit runnier. So like, it'll just easily like, you know. So what you gotta do is you get your little nugget. You, you cover it in the, in, the, in the sauce like so. And then you take it out and then you pour it in here and now we just gotta do the rest so take our little nuggets for a swim did you know chickens if they look up they'll they drown also did you know if you cut a chicken's head off it'll still survive for like a, a, a while and uh did you know chickens are actually uh the ancestors of, of dinosaurs did you know chickens? Um, Look at this delicious looking fried flesh of dead chickens covered in flour. It's so beautiful. It's coming, James. Alright, so uh, stick a fork in, in these nuggets because I believe that they are completed, as I would say. So now we just take them out and put them on a little paper towel. Um, how long were they cooking for? I don't know, like forever long. Yeah, so like, just leave them in there for forever, and then eventually when they turn golden brown, just like my skin complexion, just uh, take them out of there, uh, out of the fryer, and put that in there. Is there a chef, like, on Food Network that says that? Like, there has to be at least, like, one chef that's like, golden brown, like my skin complexion. And it's like a soul food chef from, like, Louisiana, who's, like, really into Cajun cooking. Whose like great 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 grandmother was like one of those like runaway slaves, sort of like a voodoo thing in like Louisiana, and like they were like you know, uh, I forgot where I'm going with this, but these nuggets are done as fuck, as the cool kids would say. Um, so now let's just wait for them to cool down because it's gonna be hot. Oh, what's this? I think it's they're they're ready. See that crispy, crumbly whiteness in the center? That's how you know that the nuggets are done. There's a hair on my thumb. Can you see that? Yeah. That's so weird. Oh, anyways, bone apple tea. Mmm. Mmm. Now let's not forget some of our daddy's secret sauce. So just pour a little dollop on that. Mmm. -mm. And we're about to be taken to flavor time. These nuggets were made with love. And Guy Fieri's special barbecue sauce. <coughs> I had a crumb stuck in my throat. So yeah, if you guys make some, uh, just send me pictures and I'll retweet you or something. Chicken nuggets are my favorite food. Yeah, they make me feel good. Chicken nuggets are my favorite thing to put in and around my mouth. Chicken nuggets 
are so dang beautiful I wanna put them inside my cuticles Chicken nuggets are the best thing in the world So, uh, I wanna thank the spirits and souls of all the chickens in which I consume today So, uh, let's have a moment of silence for these uh, chickens while I play a basic pop chord progression on, on the guitar Mike DeMarco, if you're watching, let me be your dank meme uh, person that you want to hire. <laughs>